Hi. Let's learn about bank ratings, what they are and how they work. A bank rating is a letter or numerical grade assigned to banks and thrift institutions by rating agencies. These grades are given to provide the public with information about an organization's level of credit risk and financial safety and soundness. Many rating agencies use a proprietary formula to determine ratings while others use the CAMEL system to assess financial institutions. Regulatory and credit rating agencies assign ratings to banks to give the public information about the safety and soundness of a financial institution or its risk of default on debt obligations. These ratings are issued by regulatory bodies, such as the FDIC, and credit rating agencies like SNP, Moody's, and Fitch. They are updated regularly and give consumers insight into the health and stability of financial institutions. The ratings also provide information to the bank's management team and board to address any problems. Agencies may use different rating systems and consider their workings proprietary. The FDIC protects depositors' money in FDIC-insured banks and regularly examines financial institutions to ensure financial safety and soundness. Its ratings are different from those provided by credit rating agencies, which focus on the ability of financial institutions and corporations to pay debt obligations on time. The FDIC also presents ratings related to the level of consumer compliance and the safety and soundness of these financial institutions. Government regulators assign ratings based on the CAMEL system, which provides guidance about the financial soundness of financial institutions. The ratings use a scale of 1 to 5 and are based on factors like capital adequacy, asset quality, management, earnings, liquidity, and sensitivity. The CAMEL system helps agencies examine different components of a bank to determine its overall rating. Bank customers and investors can visit a credit rating agency site to learn about its rating structure and the meaning of its individual ratings. For example, Fitch rates banks with letters and numbers and provides explanations of what each rating signifies and its impact on the financial institution's credit risk. The example of Bank of America Corporation's rating from Fitch illustrates how credit ratings can indicate the level of default risk and an institution's ability to meet financial obligations. The CAMEL system examines various components of a bank. Capital adequacy refers to the amount of cash held in reserve by financial institutions. Asset quality evaluates the credit risk associated with a bank's interest-bearing assets. Management reviews the leadership of the bank. Earnings analyze the bank's financial statements. Liquidity assesses the bank's short-term financial obligations. Sensitivity examines an institution's risk exposure, such as market risk. Credit ratings are important because they indicate the credit risk that potential investors in the debt issued by an institution may face. They project how likely it is that bond investors will be repaid in full and on time for their loans. These ratings are used as guides to help investors make informed decisions about their investments. It's important to note that ratings are based on opinions rendered by rating agencies and there's no guarantee that a financial institution with an excellent rating won't default. This means that ratings should be just one of a variety of indicators of financial soundness that investors take into account before making investments. Bank credit ratings are important for consumers and investors because they provide information and transparency about the financial safety and soundness of financial institutions. They can give investors the confidence to invest, which contributes to ongoing and vital economic activity and wealth building. In conclusion, bank ratings are grades related to aspects of financial institution safety and soundness assigned by government agencies or private rating agencies. They provide the public with clear information about the financial institutions that they may open accounts with, invest in, or lend to. These ratings are based on factors like the amount of capital a bank maintains in reserve and the quality of its assets as they compare to levels required by industry authorities. Here are four key takeaways. 1. A bank rating is a letter or numerical grade given to banks and other financial institutions. 2. Grades are assigned by government agencies and private rating companies. 
3. The public can use these ratings as guides to determine the financial safety and soundness of certain financial institutions. Fourth, ratings are based on factors like the amount of capital that a bank maintains in reserve and the quality of its assets, as they compare to levels required by industry authorities. Hope this would help. Thanks for watching.